Hello all. I really need to think of a catchier greeting. Um, anyway, uh, I hope everyone's having a better week than I am. I mean, hadn't been, hasn't been good. Hasn't been a good one for me. Of course, last week wasn't that great either, so, you know, I'm kind of on a roll. Um, but sometimes the right movie comes along at the right time, and it kind of makes everything a little less sucky. Um, I didn't know if I was going to go out tonight. I wasn't feeling really up to it. But I didn't know if I wanted to go out this weekend, so I was like, I, I, I want to see a movie. I want to do a review, so I need to go now. So I went and saw this one tonight. I'm always a little leery about going and seeing things on opening night, but the uh, um, audience was pretty good. I mean, it was small, so. Um, and the movie was a real surprise in all of the really good ways. I freaking loved this movie. Maybe loved is too much, but it was a breath of freaking fresh air. Uh, I mean, I haven't... Oh, I just haven't had that good of a time lately in life, and, like, this movie is just, it's its a good time, and that is the best way I can describe it. It's a freaking good time. The closest films I can think of to maybe compare it to are, are uh, Indi not Independence Day, um, Pacific Rim for this kind of high-concept, you know, monster movie. Or not even high concept, just kind of, you know, popcorn monster movie. And uh, a movie that I don't know how many people remember, a movie called Brotherhood of the Wolf, which came out when I was in college. I think it's a French movie, actually. It's like a French monster movie, kung fu. It's so hard to describe, but those those are the two films I kind of think of when I'm watching this thing. There's just so much about, all the good stuff about those two is in here. Um, so, of course this movie has been garnering a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of controversy when it, when the first trailer came out, because they cast Matt Damon in it, uh, you know, a white guy in a movie about the Great Wall. Um, and, you know, my, my personal feeling about that, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm vindicated for thinking this, was, you know, nobody is even waiting for the movie to come out. They're just automatically jumping on this, oh, this is terrible, this is insensitive, this is this, this is that. And nobody knew what the story was, nobody knew who he was playing. I mean, it wasn't like he was playing a, you know, a Chinese character, you know. And really, when you watch the movie, it makes perfect sense. It all works really good, you know. Um, so basically, Matt, Matt Damon and uh, Pedro... Pedro Pallone, Patron, I think, I, I'm mispronouncing his name, um, but he played Oberon Martel. Ooh, a couple cops going by. That can't be good. Anyway, uh, he played Oberon Mar Martel in uh, one season of Game of Thrones before his character, surprise, was killed. You know? Um, but they play these mercenaries who are, you know, heading east, trying to find, you know, black powder or, you know, gunpowder. So they can steal it and, and take it back, and they they happen upon the Great Wall. And they're taken in by this this group, this army that's there called uh, the Nameless Order, and they quickly discover that they're fighting these like aliens or monsters. They never, they give you kind of a, a mythic a mythical origin story for them, but they don't really go into a lot of detail, which is I which I like, um, and. You know, Matt Damon's character strikes up a friendship. And I like that. I'm going to say that. It's a friendship, not a romance, with a female soldier on the wall. And it starts to change him. And it's, you know, it's all, it's all thing. Um, I don't even know where to start with, with what I love about this movie. Because there's a lot of things I love about this movie. I, I think the thing I love the most, though, is that visually, this is one of the most gorgeous looking movies I have seen in a long time. Especially in the realm of set and costume design. Oh my god. The costume design in this movie is mind-blowing. I love it so freaking much. Like, I could just watch these people walk around in the armor. 
for two hours and come out going, yeah, that was awesome. You know? um, so this this nameless order that runs the uh, that that like guards the wall. They're basically they're color coded. Whatever division they're in, uh, are color coded. Like the red are the um, uh, the, the archers. Uh, I think the black are like the foot soldiers. The purple, I don't. They never really say what the purple is. Um, and they've got they got uh, purple, orange, black, red, and blue. The blue are all women and. What they do is they like they're like bungee jumpers. They like hook onto this uh, massive pulley system and jump off into battle. And their their armor is so gorgeous. The blue armor, all the armor in this is like so freaking cool. It's so well designed, and it and the colors are amazing. The blue of the of the the female soldier's armor is oh it's so gorgeous and i'm just like i i just want to walk around in that armor i just want a set of that armor man um the action scenes are really creative and they really have fun with the concept and that's that's kind of where it comes to a, a kind of a comparison to pacific rim for me is that they're really having fun with the concept in the action scenes. They're not just kind of giving you some generic thing. I mean, they have really thought it out, just like you can tell the soldiers kind of in this, you know, war have really thought out what, you know, the different ways to fight these these creatures. Um, everybody in the movie gives a really great performance, a really fun performance. And I think that's the key word here, fun. There's just a lot of fun to be had. Matt Damon, of course, gets his head above the title because, you know, he's Matt Damon. He's the biggest star in the film. But I think he, the, the movie is not just Matt Damon's. I mean, it is in that he's kind of the, the audience POV character. But, I mean, the real relationship is him and uh, Pedro Pallone. Well, again, I'm mispronouncing his name, and I'm really sorry because I really like the guy. Um, their, their banter and their back and forth, it's so deadpan and so dry and yet so funny and so awesome. You know, they make very mundane lines and very mundane kind of exchanges. Really, really entertaining and really funny. Um, Willem Dafoe is in this, too. And, and that, you know, it's like, oh, look, Willem Dafoe. You know? Um, I don't know. I, I can't pronounce any of the, the Chinese actors' names, and I don't want to I don't want to try. So I'm, uh, so I'm sorry to do this, but I'm going to refer to them. The, the one character I want to talk about, the main female lead, uh, I'm just going to call her uh, Commander Blue Ranger because, you know, she was in blue and she was like a commander. She's made the general. Um, she was really good. Um, one of the, Just one of those actors that is a strikingly beautiful woman uh, but doesn't come off as as dainty. That, no, she kicks ass. Never once is a damsel in distress never once is weak you know is i mean she's a great character and she, this young lady plays it to the hill there's a there's a lot of characters there's a there's like the advisor who again don't know his name don't know the actor's name um who like is kind of the liaison he's trying to study the monsters and trying to figure things out you know he's really good um and they have another character who's like this kid who is kind of screw up. I'm gonna call him. Uh, I'm gonna call him Black Ranger because he's all in black. He's one of the black soldiers, um, and he keeps screwing everything up, you know. And he, you know, and everyone's calling him an idiot and everything. But Matt Damon, you know, sees that he's got more courage in him than they think, you know. And it's this whole thing, and he's really good. He has a really great character arc, you know. It's just, and it's like it's not to say that any of this is brilliant acting, but it's it's acting that is just right. It's just right for what this movie needs to be. The characters are not too big and too exaggerated. Um, I don't know. They just fit. The acting just fits. And that's hard to do with one of these kind of weird genre pictures that's trying to merge the gap between so many things. To have acting that's just so perfect. Not, not too much. Not too little. You know, because too 
too much and you know everything just comes off goofy too little and it doesn't sell the uh, you know the, the the grandness of the of the concept and all that you know so the, everybody just hits it just right um, if I have a complaint and you all know me I I, I, I have nothing but complaints sometimes. If I had a complaint, uh, it's that I did not like the an the computer animation. Well, really at all. I didn't like the computer animation really at all. Um, but I especially didn't like it on the, the creatures themselves. Um, the creatures themselves were kind of, again, this is this may be the weak point. Um, the creatures themselves are kind of 50-50 in terms of how they look. I think there's some interesting design choices there. Uh, like, for instance, they have the eyes on the shoulders. You know? Um, but, uh, I don't know. There, there's nothing really in them that that makes you really remember them later. They don't have a, a unique enough look. And maybe that's by design. Maybe they're not supposed to be. They're just supposed to be a monster. Um, the other problem is, again, the animation on them is, is too cartoony. Now, I say that, and... You know, the, the, the premise itself is kind of cartoony, and the costumes and everything, again, are very... The whole thing looks like a video game. A lot of the, a lot of the action scenes look like a big video game in a good way, the kind that you're like, man, I wish this was a video game because I would like to play that right now, you know? Um, so I guess that's good, but I don't know. The, I would have liked it maybe if the creatures were animated a little bit more realistically. Um, I don't know. It just it just seems like tonally the animation doesn't mix with every, the grandness of the, uh, of the... Of the rest of it. I don't know. I just, it's just the two things don't seem to go well together. That's kind of a minor nitpick. Actually, it's not really a minor nitpick. It's it's something I didn't like, but it's not something that ruins the movie for me. Like the movie is really good and really fun, and the fact that I didn't like the animation of the of the creatures or really the design of them is like yeah, you know what? Because a lot of the action is so fast. You don't really see them that much. It's more of a, you just got to know they're a big monster that's scary, and, and they do that really well. So, you know, I guess it's one of those things, kind of, yeah, yeah, that could have been better, but did it ruin the movie for me? No, you know. But again, I think that's because so much of the rest of it is just so visually stunning that, again, there's parts of the movies, like, I could just watch them do things. Like, um, for instance... They, the way they signal each other on the wall as to what the, the monsters are doing during battle is with these drums, and they have these girls, I'm, I'm sorry to call them girls, but they have these female soldiers with, like, nunchucks swinging around and beating these drums. And the way they're beating them and the rhythm they're beating them at tells everyone else what's going on, you know? And just watching them twirl the nunchucks and whack the drums and the different rhythms and everything, that was so cool. Um, they have a funeral scene for one of the characters. Sorry if I'm spoiling something. Um, and, you know, it's this beautiful shot of all these soldiers lining the walls, all wearing white headbands, and they light, you know, it's like a scene from Tangled. You know, they light these, like, balloons and lift them up. And just, again, you, again, you know, the one, the, 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 kind of the, the liaison guy I was talking about earlier, the guy who wanted to study the, the creatures, you know, he, he sings as it goes. It's like, it's it's just a really visually breathtaking scene. You know, I really enjoy it. Um, I guess if there's one other nitpick, and this one is nitpicky, is that a lot of the stuff at the end kind of happens just really fast. And not so fast, not fast in the, the terms of cuts. It's just, oh, and that's done now. You know? It's not, it's not anticlimactic. It's just, you know, I guess you're used to the American way where, you know, we're going to try something, and of course the first time it doesn't work, and of course the third time it doesn't work, and oh, we're going to wait, I want one more shot, 
you know, and they dra and they drag all that out, so it's really dramatic. Well, they do that here with the, you know, oh, it doesn't work the first time, oh, it doesn't work the last time, third time, oh, it worked, we're good. You know, it's, just, it's you know, and I guess, again, maybe that's just, you know, what I'm used to with the, um, with how we drag everything out. This, this was very kind of so tight at the end that you're kind of like, oh, 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 okay, uh, oh, okay, yeah, so, you know, that's, that's me. Um... Sorry, it's been, I've been up for a long time. That's kind of another funny thing. Uh, it's talking about kind of the visual style of the movie. The movie was is so beautiful um, that you know, you know I'm, I've been working all day and you know I, I get up at 5 a.m. to you know go into work and all that. So and you know it's been a long week, very emotionally draining. I'm just I'm kind of at the end of my rope. So I'm yawning in the film. But I hated it. I'm trying to yawn and keep my eyes open. Because, you know, when you yawn, you do that, you know, this thing. I'm trying to yawn and keep my eyes open because I don't want to miss any of the visual elements. You know? So that's a really good sign. Um, like I say, sometimes the right movie comes along kind of when you need it. I, I was kind of hoping, I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping this movie would suck. You know, a lot of a lot of the trailers were very kind of meh, um, and of course there's the whole controversy that people were having, which again, having seen, I understand where people are coming from, but I think if they had seen the movie and understood what the storyline was, I don't think it would have even been an issue. You know, there's nothing to be offended at here. Again, Matt Damon isn't playing a Chinese man. It's not a story about the Westerner who comes in and shows the, you know, the the Chinese how to fight the monster. I mean, I mean he is the hero, but I think uh, Commander Blue Ranger is just as much the hero. It's just he's just the audience point of view character, you know. So it's like so anyway. So I went into this going, okay, you know, I got a lot of misplaced rage right now. I got a lot of it. I'm mad at a lot of things and a lot of people. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you just want to scream at something. So I went to this kind of hoping it was going to give me one of those very cathartic releases like, you know, uh, like Split or Manchester by the Sea. Just, you know, freaking go off on it. But I can't do that. And I'm not upset about it, you know, because, again... This was the movie I needed right now. It was a really fun. It was a popcorn movie. It is a. It is the definition of a popcorn movie. Um. So. So yeah. Um. I I really dug this movie. I I really. I'm really glad I went and it came at the, just the right time. So. You know, if you watch a review show to know kind of if you should go see it, yeah, you should freaking go see it. It's really good. It's a, and again, it's just a good, fun escape movie. There's nothing deep in this. You know, the actors all handle it with the perfect amount of seriousness and humor. Um, the costume design is mother loving gorgeous. It is the best costume design I've seen in years. Um, so yeah, you need to check this one out. You really do. So that's that's my opinion. Uh, so hopefully you all go out and see this one. And uh, and yeah, that's that's kind of me. I'm winding down here. I've got a little ways to go to get home. I took the long way around. So uh, I'm not gonna talk the whole time. So um, so yeah, The Great Wall. And it is it is a great movie. So. Uh, I think this is the first film of 2017 that I can say I really, really liked. So, booyah. So, February just about wrapping up. Birthday week for me next week. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to go to a movie next week. You know, with everything going on. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a birthday week review. And if not... March is on the way, and as I've said before, March is loaded. There's a movie every week I'm going to go see. So, uh, so yeah, so that's me. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, 
drive safe and I will see you at the movies.